You know, I scrubbed my entire stove yesterday and it felt amazing. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. If you're in the same situation as me and you're currently quarantined in your house, you might suddenly have a lot of time on your hands. And being forced to stay in your house does make you look around and realize there's a lot of things you've been putting off. Now's the perfect time to kickstart all of the spring cleaning you've been meaning to do. And that's exactly what we're doing in my house. So in this week's video, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 items I have on my spring cleaning checklist. Keep your eye out for a future video where I'm actually gonna share the top areas I deep clean every spring and the top 10 areas I declutter every spring, especially right now with all of this extra time we have on our hands. So let's get right into it. Number one, clean your windows. Inside, outside, and especially the window sills. Now most people do clean their windows on a pretty regular basis, but usually when you do that, it's just the inside. I'm saying give your entire window a once over, both inside and outside and the windowsill. If your house is anything like mine, the wind inside of the windowsill gets a ton of dirt built up from the wind and the rain and everything blowing sideways throughout the winter. So this is a great time to wipe it all down. Check if your windows actually fold inside. A lot of the newer windows, you can actually fold them on the into the inside of the home and wipe them down, making cleaning much easier. And if you watched my fall and winter home prep checklist video, then in that video, I advised if you have any windows that you wanted to switch out from screens to storm windows, that it was a great time to do that. Now it's time to switch them back. So if you have any windows that you changed from screens to storm windows, switch them back to the screens. So you're gonna wanna be able to open them up and get that fresh breeze as soon as the warm weather comes. And really, we're already in it. Today's gonna be 66 degrees here at New Jersey, which is awesome. Number two, deep clean your appliances. Now, some of your appliances might have been working on overdrive throughout the holiday season, like your stove, for example. So now's the time to really deep clean all of them. Your microwave, your stove, your refrigerator, and certainly don't forget your washing machine and dryer. Now, deep cleaning your appliances doesn't have to be difficult or super time consuming. A lot of ovens actually have a self-cleaning cycle. Just know that it's gonna take at least three to four hours and it's going to smell terrible. So do it on a nice day after you've cleaned all your windows, open up those windows to let that awful smell escape. And washing machines, the same thing. A lot of them have a self-cleaning cycle. You're either gonna use bleach or a special washing machine cleaner to run through its cycle. And as for your dryer, you wanna make sure that you clean all the lint, both out of the lint trap and the dryer vent to avoid fires. Number three. Clean your curtains and your throw pillows. Now, depending on the fabric of your curtains, they might have to be dry cleaned. But if you don't have to dry clean them, sometimes just putting them in the air only cycle in your dryer is enough to freshen them up, as well as your throw pillows. And on a really nice warm day, you can even hang them out on a clothesline. The warmth in the sun will kill all the bacteria and make them smell fresh and clean. Number four, dust everything. Now you might be somebody who dusts on a regular basis, just like I do. However, when I dust on a everyday basis, there's a lot of things I miss. Things such as your light fixtures. Make sure to dust all of those chandeliers and those high hanging lights to get rid of any of the major dust and cobwebs that have built up all winter. You also wanna dust your ceiling fans. There's nothing worse than flipping on the ceiling fan for the first time for the season and getting covered in dust. Make sure you clean them before you turn them on again. Number five. Don't forget your furniture. Now again, if you're cleaning on a regular basis, you're probably picking up and vacuuming and doing some light dusting. But if you really think about it, do you ever really truly clean your upholstery or your furniture? Do you really vacuum it? Do you lift up the cushions and vacuum all the crumbs out from underneath? Or is that just me who has a toddler and gets crumbs everywhere? But you're gonna wanna wipe everything down and even consider doing a deep steam clean on your furniture. And don't forget to actually move furniture, things like couches and dressers, to be able to clean underneath and behind. You would be amazed at the amount of buildup of dust and dirt behind our furniture. Number six. Prep your landscaping equipment. If you're in an area with snow, you may have a snow blower. If that's the case, make sure you empty all the gas and you clean it up and you put it away for the spring and summer since you're not gonna need it. And this is the time that you're gonna get your lawn mower out, you're gonna make sure it has gas and then it's in proper working order, as well as any other landscaping equipment or tools that you're going to need as we move into the spring and summer season. The last thing you want is to have to run back and forth to the hardware store when all you're trying to do is mow your grass. Number seven. 
check your batteries. Now, I mentioned this in my previous video of getting, you know, prepped for fall and winter, but I feel like I need to mention it again because it is something you should be checking in your home at least twice a year. You wanna check all of your smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, and make sure that your fire extinguisher hasn't expired yet. You wanna make sure that these are all in working order, and if anything is running low on batteries, that you put new batteries in so you have nothing to worry about. Number eight, get your patio furniture out and set up. Now that the winter is done and the snow and the cold freezing temperatures are done, if you packed up all your patio furniture like you're supposed to, now's the time to get it out. Hose it off, clean it up, wipe it down, and set it up in its place. You wanna be able to enjoy it on that first nice day. Number nine, clean up leftover debris. You wanna make sure that the exterior of your home is cleaned up and ready to go for the spring and summer season. So you wanna sweep up any outdoor hard surfaces like a patio, a deck, a porch, things like that. You may have a collection of leaves and random debris that has blown onto those areas throughout the winter months. So you wanna make sure you sweep and get those all cleaned up. You wanna do the same thing in any landscaping that you have, flower beds and such. Clean up any of the debris or any of the leaves or anything that's really collected there. Get them all cleaned up and ready to go for all your spring landscaping plans. Number 10, check your HVAC or furnace filter and replace it as needed. Depending on the specific filter you use for your furnace, some have to get replaced every month, some are every three months, some are six, and some are a year. Now it's just a really good time to get eyes on it, and if it does need to be replaced, now's the time to do it. And before you kick on your air conditioning for the year, if you have central air, consider getting your local air conditioning company to come out and do what we call a once-over on the system. Make sure everything's in proper working order so that on that first hot day when you flip on that air conditioning, it actually works. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. Keep an eye out for my next video about decluttering. I'm gonna share with you the top 10 areas I'm decluttering my house this spring. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comments section below. I'll see you next week.